it's Lori at Alberta here, and I wanted to share with you what Real Women of Philadelphia has meant to me throughout the life of this contest so far. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Real Women of Philadelphia in the past tense, but we want to talk about it in what it's going to be, too. So no more of this past tense goodbyes kind of stuff. We're going to focus on where it's going from here. But what started for me, as with many people, as entering the competition, turned out to be so much more. We started out with Real Women of Philadelphia thinking about it as a bit of a project. Project to learn about video editing, to learn about YouTube, and to throw a few cooking videos onto a website. Well, that in and of itself was a learning curve because I've never actually thought about the things that I throw together in my kitchen in terms of being recipes that can be written out and shared with others. They've more just been the things that I've created. So, Real Women of Philadelphia became a chance for me to realize the fact that other people might want to cook something that my family finds delicious. That my recipes and my ideas and my creations can go further than the four walls right here in Alberta. I mean, it's nice to be able to share my recipes and my cooking with people that come to our home and people that share time with us. Woo! Karen's making a lot of noise. But to share them with the whole online community was so much more special than even that. And I just really appreciated the opportunity to do that. On top of that, we started out with a, I'm just going to enter the competition. Then all of a sudden, these friend requests started coming on the website. And I started thinking, friends? I don't need any more friends. But boy, was I wrong. When it got to onto the forums and getting to know the ladies, I mean, just getting to know everyone through their videos and through the community and through the chatting that was going on, I felt like I really made some really good friends um, on the website and, and through watching other people's creations and in their homes and with their families and the things that they create meant so much in growing us closer together. So it started out as, like for most of the ladies, entering a competition turned out to be this vibrant community of friends sharing ideas. Now as far as Philadelphia cream cheese goes, of course that's been in my kitchen ever as long as I can remember. I mean, I remember growing up with Philadelphia cream cheese, but it's like someone mentioned on the website. When we were children, Philadelphia cream cheese coming home in the grocery bag meant something special and spectacular was happening. Whereas when I started cooking for my family, Philadelphia cream cheese in the fridge meant that we weren't out of cream cheese. Um, it's just always there because it's always showing up in something or other. Um, but through the competition, through these last eight weeks, it's really encouraged me to experiment and try new flavors of cream cheese, try cream cheese and different ideas of things, and of course, try the recipes that are showing up on the website. One thing that's really changed for me is, is that this competition has made Real Women of Philadelphia my absolute favorite recipe site online. It's the one that I can go to to find something fabulous no matter what the occasion or no matter what the course that I'm looking for. So I guess what it's meant to me most is the beginning of an incredible journey of this community online and just this new network of ladies all across Canada that can share their videos, can share the recipes, and can share, share their creative ideas and just encourage one another to be the best home cooks and, uh, and even more than that for some ladies that, that we can be. So I'm looking forward to everything that this website and this competition will become. And I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with all of you for a long time. Thank you.